we have seen how we can use the RON skin to see whether we have independent solutions. Let us now look at some tricky examples to see what happens if something goes wrong. For example, this one over here. Y double minus 4y prime plus 4y equals 0. So familiar substitution to the power rx gives us r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals 0 or r minus 2 squared equals 0. So we basically have a double 0 in this case. So well, let's try naively to put e to the power 2x and e to the power 2x as our y1 and y2. What happens if you plug them in the run skin? So y1 in the first column, y1 and y1 prime, y2 and y2 prime in the second column. So if you compute the determinant, we get 2 times e to the power 4x minus 2 times e to the power 4x equals 0. So here we see something goes wrong. The determinant is 0, so the functions are in fact dependent. Well, you can see that, of course, because they are the same. So what should we do instead? Well, you've seen this also before. We need to put e to the power 2x as y1 and x times e to the power 2x as y2. If you do so, we again have y1 and y1 uh, prime, and here we have y2, and y2 prime gives us a bit more mass, e to the power x, uh, e to the power 2x plus leave the x and differentiate e to the power 2x gives us this term. And if we now compute the determinant, we get e to the power 2x times e to the power 2x, which equals e to the power 4x, and we get a plus 2x times e to the power 4x and a minus 2x times e to the power 4x. So those cancel out and we are left with an e to the power 4x, which is not equal to zero, which means that these two solutions over here are in fact independent. And the final example, which is a so-called order equation, which is slightly more tricky because there are some x's here. Uh, we can, uh, as an ansatz, put y equals x to the power r, then y prime equals r times x to the power r minus 1, and y double equals r times r minus 1 times x to the power r minus 2. Plug all of that into the equation, y double, y prime, and y. And we end up with this over here. You see that you can divide by x to the power r, so you're left with r squared minus r minus 4r equals r squared minus 5r plus 6, which has to be equal to 0. So you can uh, find the solutions because we have r minus 2 times r minus 3 equals 0, so r equals 2 or r equals 3. So it gives us r as solutions x to the power 2 and x to the power 3. So there we have our two independent solutions x squared and x cubes. Well, let's check whether they are independent using the run skin. So y1 equals x squared, y1 prime 2x, y2 equals x cubed, y2 prime equals 3x squared. Now we compute the, uh, the determinant, we get 3 times x to the power 4 minus 2 times x to the power 4 equals x to the power 4, which is fine, which is not 0 unless x equals 0. So here we do indeed have two independent solutions as long as we stay away from x equals 0. And of course we could have foreseen this because look at your differential equation here. It has a x squared times y double. So in x equals 0, this term here drops out and you have a, a problem in your differential equation. So here, your Ronskin x cubed signals a problem at x equals 4 and you also see it from your ODE, which also has a problem in x equals 0. But as long as you stay away from x equals 0, you have two independent solutions and you have your general solution.